Hey, quick question. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be really cool if I just got my toe? <laughs> no. If I just got my, if I just got my toe, if I just got my toe amputated, yeah, and then had it in a little plastic bag forever. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip that and use that out of context for the opener of the video. <laughs> you know, some of my favourite games on the flat screen are co-op games. The games where you can bring four of your mates together and fight against enemies that aren't human, they're AI. And that's something that I felt was kind of sorely lacking in PSVR, the original headset. And now that we've gone to PSVR 2, there aren't actually that many games that support game styles like this. I mean, some games are promising it for the future. I mean, Puzzling Places is even getting a co-op update, and so is Kayak VR at some point. And of course, we have the games like Firewall Ultra, which rely on teams, and even Pavlov with its co-op mode. But if you want to take Pavlov Zombies co-op mode to the next level, your only option is After the Fall. And fortunately, After the Fall is incredible. I mean, it's cool because, you know, it's, more, it's you know, somewhat more real. Big guy! Terminator guy! What? Oh, fuck! Terminator! Ah! Oh, fucking cool! <laughs> I've grab me, he's grabbed me, guys! Chase him! Chase him. I didn't think I'd be saying that. I saw the gameplay, especially when it launched on the PS4, and I thought, this looks fine, I'm not really a big fan. But after buying it on sale this past week and playing it for about three hours, both on my own and with others, I can safely say this game is great. Now bear in mind I've not played loads of it, but I've got enough of an indication to see how fun it is and how replayable it is and how much content there is. After the Fall essentially relies on a Left 4 Dead gameplay loop, where you go into a mission with up to four friends, kill zombies, clear a level, stop at safe rooms to stock back up, head into the next area and kill again and repeat until you reach a boss at the end or a massive wave at the end and then the mission ends. This sounds very simplistic, you know, fighting zombies, going to safe room, fight more zombies, and if this game was just on the flat screen then maybe I wouldn't like it as much. But because it's in VR, and because of the choices that are made in it, it's one of the most fun experiences you can have on PSVR 2, and I'm saying especially since it's on sale, don't sleep on it. <gasps> I don't realise, can I see myself? I can! That's weird. I mean, obviously I've seen this in like Bone Lab before, but... Whoa, you probably just heard my knees click. First of all, the art style and the setting is really, really good. I wasn't too much of a fan of it when I saw it in the trailers, but hopping onto the game and seeing it in VR in 3D, these environments and this iced over world with these massive skyscrapers and cranes and these levels to explore, they look amazing. Whoa. I remember this mission. It's a friendly fire. Uh, no, it's the mm. first thing I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the actual like, the environment is actually nuts. like feel kind of realistic as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, like those buildings but up there are nuts and that crane. And while this game isn't the most impressive in terms of graphical fidelity, it still is pretty decent, don't get me wrong. My high standard here is comparing this to Resident Evil 8 and Horizon Call of the Mountain and this isn't, you know, holding a candle to them at all, but it doesn't need to. It's a simplistic zombie shooter and it does that great in the art style and the setting just draw you in so much more. Get you uh, to yes, stab him! I'll use mine on Spuddy. Okay, I, 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 I Spuddy run! Spuddy run! <laughs> oh, you got him. I don't, I don't want to say you chose no, you didn't. Wrong, but elect electric had an assault rifle. Oh fuck, sorry, I panicked. <laughs> Well, that's oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I should have got electrical with a assault rifle. Of course, co-op is the main draw here. That's what I put in the title, of course. And it's so much fun, especially character interactions between you and your mates. When you can see your full body, it makes everything so much better. And obviously, I've seen that in Pavlov already. But in After the Fall, there's just something about it. They feel janky, but they feel endearing. It's great. Whoa, it's all of us. Uh, this hey. is where you buy wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Can you like two hand a gun? Oh, you can. Okay. okay yeah. What is what is this? Up. I gotta lift this. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah. That looks so wonky. I love it. Yo. <laughs> and with everyone having these post-apocalyptic player models, I think After the Fall really nails that immersion. Now, in the main hub section, you can also see loads of other players. This is where you select your missions and seeing all the other survivors in there. And I think that's just a random selection of them. And being able to interact with them is so cool. If they equip you with some heavy Get you all Whoa! She runs the line Are these all players? I'm, gonna... uh, I'm in your path, yeah. Just I don't think I'm in your lobby though, because I'm with a bunch of people kissing each other. <laughs> <laughs> that many players in one VR space I've never seen before, and seeing all of them just going about their day and doing their tasks 
It really puts into perspective how many people you can really get in VR and how this could be a great social experience. But also I can't really find a way to speak to these people. I don't think there's proximity chat in this area specifically. Uh, so communicating with people goes something a little bit like this. Just gotta like heal in the position it's in, yeah? In the okay. wrong place. No, all right, so you know how your joint's meant to bend? When one of your own team gets an injury, you'll see their player model collapse into this golem-like crawl on the floor uh, which is unintentionally very, very funny. Now, I'm not going to play all of this clip because Spuddy was in some severe pain here, but there was a point where he had a pretty bad foot injury and that translated into a too funny game experience for the amount of pain he was going through at the time. <laughs> Would you like some help? <laughs> I can jack your foot right up, what? Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, there we go. It looks like some oh, yeah. little goblin. <laughs> Show us the way to Mordor! <laughs> it's this way. <laughs> yeah. Alright, see, the thing is, my foot doesn't feel as bad when I'm sat down like this, but when I stand up, I know it's gonna fucking go nuts again. Uh... Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Ow, 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 ow. Back down again. Back down again. <laughs> I'm not in your lobby, so. So I don't know what's going on. My guy's in real pain and uh, Darth is just cupping his head <sighs> with his hands. Who's just sticking? Okay, cool. Are you like teabagging me, well? No. no. Why would you say such a thing? Tie my sock around my toe. What? To like hold it against another toe. Darth's fucking head just went sideways <laughs> when he said that. No, so you know. You, you, know, know, you, went, like... on this, you went on this, you went on this, you went, what? <laughs> No, if you, ba you, know, you know how if you bandage it. No, you know what's sad about that? So Someone's gonna recognize Spuddy and Pavlov and go, Yo, you're the toe guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's more to the game than just the hub area. I need to shut up about that. And one of the main things that drew me to it is the weapon selection. Now, I have only tried out a handful of the weapons, three to be exact. There are a lot more than three, and I can't wait to unlock them further. And I might cover the game again if I find some great missions or find the weapons a lot of fun. But so far, they feel pretty decent. They are average VR guns, but it isn't really the guns that make the game. It's the enemy variety, and most importantly for me, the enemy ragdoll physics. Because whenever I see ragdoll physics in any game, let alone a VR game, it makes my brain very happy. <laughs> oh, there's ragdoll physics with everything. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, what? What do we do? Uh, how How do, do we do that? shoot them anywhere and it just tears them apart? Oh well, my he's God. stuck in the wall. He's stuck in the wall for me. Uh, I can't grab it. He's grabbing my gun. Right, where, where do we go? What's the... And being able to interact with an enemy's dead body after they've already died and they're on the floor makes the world feel so much more immersive and real. I'm a big fan of that. And the amount of bodies at one time spawned in this game is seriously impressive. Even though it is using the power of the PS5, I'm very surprised you can get this many ragdolls and this many enemies on screen at once. It's kind of nuts. Umpire Love is such a bad idea. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! I went to the room and it, it was a, a big family There's, gathering apparently. You know, but yeah, just clearing these levels with your friends and being able to play together in a co-op experience that makes you feel like you're fighting for your lives, I'm a massive fan of it. And if you've liked anything you've seen today in terms of After the Fall, go see if you can pick it up on sale. It's really worth it at full price, to be honest, and getting it on sale was just the icing on the cake, so I'd very much recommend it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. It is free and it helps me out more than you think. If you do run into me on this game, feel free to give me a wave and... Maybe this is what that person was trying to do. Maybe they somehow recognize me with my small channel. Who knows? But if you do recognize me, just, yeah, give me a wave. Invite me to your party. If I'm on my own, I'll probably join you. But hopefully you run into me in a game like Pavlov, where I can actually communicate verbally with you. Oh, and uh, one last thing. If you do end up running into Spuddy, feel free to call him the Toe Guy. I'm sure that will make him very, very happy. I just want somebody to wave back at me, please. Yay! There we go.